Hi everyone, it's Jane Belante from Jane Belante Art. Today I am using the spiderweb stencil to make a really fun Halloween banner. So I am using the Liquitex in brilliant yellow green and deep violet. So here I'm just rolling on a thin layer of the green. And now I'm going to place the stencil right on top and I'm going to take a piece of paper and just take a pull right here so I can eliminate the green in between the web. And I'm going to do this a second time because I didn't pull enough off with the first pull here. So I'm just using a scrap piece of paper and getting a really good seal and then pulling it off again. So now I'm taking the deep violet, I'm leaving the stencil exactly where it was, putting a thin layer of the deep violet on top, rolling it on, and then I'm going to pull the stencil off and I'm going to leave the plate to dry completely. The paint is completely dry here, and now I'm just grabbing Liquitex Matte Medium. You can use whatever matte medium you have, and I want a nice thin layer on the plate. After I get this all rolled out, I'm taking a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to let the paper dry on top of the plate, and I'm not going to pull it until everything is completely dry. So I have let this dry for probably about 15 minutes and it looks so awesome. Look at the brilliant colors. I just absolutely love it. I'm going to make one more print and I'm going to do the exact opposite um, of the colors that I did last time. So I am doing the deep violet first, taking a pull with the stencil on so I can remove the paint in between the webs, and then I'll go on with a coat of the brilliant yellow green, and I will remove the stencil, let it dry, and then take the pull. Here I'm using the matte medium again. The paint is totally dry and I will do a thin layer 
and use cardstock again for the pull. Again, I've let this sit for about 15 minutes. It might differ depending on where you are, how warm it is, etc. but I love it. So here are my prints and I'm grabbing my banner forms and I'm just kind of laying them out to see how I want these to look when I place them on my banner. And then I'm just going to take a craft knife and cut them out. So now all that's left is gluing your paper onto your banners. I'm using the Uhu glue stick, which I love, and um, I'm just going to make sure that the whole banner form is covered in glue. And then um, I'm going to use my awl after the paper is on to poke the hole through the top. And then that's it. I'm using a little bit of um, bakery string to string it up. And then I've also used the, um, the, the ghost pulls to make a couple little rosettes uh, for the finish. And then I had some really beautiful die cut spiders that I embossed and glued on. And I love it. It's so adorable. There are so many ways that you can embellish these. I hope you have a great time and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find me at janebelanteart.com and on YouTube at janebelanteart. Thank you so much for watching.